Well, we are back on this lot, so I got the I picked the roller back up today too, but I got everything moved over here because these people ended up buying the lot next door here. Which I don't know if I went over this in the, the clearing video for this, but this is actually the property line. And it basically runs right down the edge of these trees right here. So uh yeah, so now this this piece of property is a little more steep and hilly than that other one was but i think it should work out the house is still going to be pretty packed in here because it's only 35 feet off the curb and then it's 40 feet off that back house so but yeah we got a lot more trees to take down and a lot of dirt to move right here so i gotta kind of notch out this hillside for the driveway some of the neighbors come up to me because you start moving equipment in the neighborhood and everyone's wondering but uh yeah so we've kind of looked at I think this grade right here, where's that? Oh yeah, this white rock. That'll be the top of my slab, which is four and a half feet higher than the road, but that won't be too bad in, in a 35 foot stretch. I mean, it'll be a little bit steep, but then I need to go over at least 25 or 30 feet of that same grade, because this is where the driveway is gonna come in. So that tree will have to go, and then I've got to notch out and level all of this hill will basically kind of cut this out and then it'll slope up to the edge of the property line so lots of trees and lots of earth to move i think we're going to have enough uh dirt and hopefully rocky fill material here to build the pad without having to bring anything in we're just going to kind of notch it out and take it over that way and fill it in and then but to make something to or shape something to grade or drain the water around because, yeah, now this property line's actually that line of trees right up there next to that guy's shop. So some of this will have to, we won't have to disturb it. Some of these on the edge we will just to kind of shape them up. But uh, Yeah, then the house is like 49 feet off that road up there. I can't see my flag. It's somewhere right in here. And I may be on a little bit of an angle, but this is a big, big, I think it's 42 or 4,400 square feet. But so you have to kind of cut all this down, take these trees out, and then just kind of level this out. But I'm going to leave a spot back here behind the pad to kind of drain the water down and around the property. So, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy watching me move a lot of dirt so <laughs> the 2150 and the uh dozer is going to get a little bit of a workout here so but if we don't get rained out tomorrow we're going to start on our clearing so we will catch you guys then well let's start tearing some trees out so i'm just kind of going to start up here and these smaller ones and just work my way into this lot i'll probably just kind of lay them back here i need to try to get uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize everything. Where I want to stack the brush, I'll probably lay the logs on the other side of the roller over there. So I'm going to cut a bunch of these up for firewood or tree logs for people. I got a couple guys that burn throughout the winter. So I'll get a hold of them when it gets closer. But I'll, I'll take it down there and kind of rip all the limbs off and then stack everything up to be moved and then like i said i'll just kind of cut into big saw logs or i don't know at least 10 or 15 feet where it's easier for me to move and then a couple of them i may have to deliver them because they don't have a trailer big enough or i may cut them up and throw them on one of the dump trucks or whatever and take them out there so oops got a few rocks off that stone so just figure for now like i said i'll kind of work my way in because pretty much all of these until we get at least 20 to 25 feet past where the edge of the house is going to be which i stuck uh, i was got a flag stuck up there in the front so we're gonna have to go so we'll just uh yeah start working on some of these I 
maybe take a little more time where they're standing and just rip them apart. They tear apart a little easier that way. It's just kind of fun. They're just easy to push over. So <laughs> you can get ahead of yourself sometimes.
most of these trees have been a little more difficult than usual just to try to push because especially in this line that I'm right here because I think this was kind of like a ditch or a valley or something in this lot and I'm gonna guess since it was like the last couple lots available in this subdivision that they probably just kind of dump dirt when they're building these other houses or brought stuff in because a lot of them I gotta dig down like three or four feet just to get to the top of the stump. So they just got so much dirt and junk back built around the base of the tree that they just don't, there's too much counterweight down there. They just don't push out like they normally do where the stump's a little more shallow. So I'm just getting that one dirty. But you can kind of see where I'm just getting down to the top of the stump right there with the two. So I mean, you get that much dirt buried it's like if the tree doesn't just snap, you can't hardly just push them out, so. I should have uh, probably brought the ripper. I mean, I'm able to do it with the bucket, but I just didn't have it with the machine when I brought it from the last job, and I didn't go back by the shop and load it on the trailer when I brought everything else over, because I just came from a different job, but. So you just got to uh, do a little more digging, and it's still, even though we've had a little bit of rain this week, you can tell just how extremely dry we are. So this ground is like concrete, I'm trying to dig around these trees. So back over here, try that now and see. Most of them just break off and they just kind of, they're real stringy and stuff. So, and then like that one that I need to cut up, I just covered the end of it in dirt, so. That'll be good on the old chainsaw. Probably just cut it further up. We'll see, this thing was just kind of bending earlier. Now it's gonna finally go. Hopefully, <laughs> I got my other camera over there on the dozer, so you guys should be able to see that tree coming right at you. I was hoping the dozer was far enough away, so looks like it uh, barely was. 